I'm pretty sure that you want to become successful. Well, so does everyone in the entire world. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's actually not that bad. I'm here to give you six tips, some, some quick things you can put into play right now to help you become successful. By all means, I'm not saying I'm like ungodly successful, but from where I've come, from what I've done and how I'm growing my business, I'd say it's working out. So here's uh, about six tips to become at least successful. You have to know the technical knowledge of photography before you can do anything else before you can become successful. Because if you don't know how to turn on the camera or well, open the camera for that case, um, then you're not going to get anywhere with anything. Your business definitely will not be successful. So basically you have to learn how to light. You have to learn how to edit. You have to know the camera, your camera inside and out, changing lenses, everything like that. The technical aspects, you know, you got to get used to that first. And as soon as you know that it becomes second nature, boom, you're done. You have to really learn how to work with people. You have to develop people skills and that comes from you know, just etiquette you learned since you were a kid of just learning how to eat if you're meeting with a client or just anything in general. No one wants to work with something they don't, someone they don't like. So you have to be, well, likable. And that can be easily done just by being outgoing. And even though if you're a shy person and you're, you know, you're not comfortable, you at least have to pretend. You at least have to put on a facade, put on some thick skin, go out there and say, yeah, you know, how's it going? I'm, you know, I'm successful. I'm confident. You know, something like that. Three, it's always being ready for, oh, hold up, the moment. Picture your camera as at least your third eye or it's replacing at least one or two of your own eyes, unless you have three eyes. Um, you always got to be ready for the moment. You'll see me, uh, you know, my assistant and someone else I shoot with, they'll definitely agree and say, you know, I'm shocked your camera is always by your face. It's always by your eye. Well, if it's all the way down here by my hip or wherever else you have it or up somewhere, wherever, you're going to miss the shot. So that way, if your camera is always by your eye, if there's always something, you know, oh, got it, got it, got it. You can always look around, you can always capture the moment that no one else can capture. And that's one of the most powerful things that you can do with photography. So just be ready for the moment. Picture this as replacing one of your eyes. You really have to develop your marketing as well. So that way people hear about you. And what are some of the things you could do? Get a very quality website, get off of the Flickr, using that as your professional page and everything like that. I stress these a lot in some of my business uh, quick tip videos, but you really gotta get something out there. You have to show your work and that can link in exactly with your website and stuff like that. You need a place to put your work. Definitely be, you know, within social media, make a Facebook group for yourself or just something to where there's a presence for you. You can be found uh, online. You got to advertise. You got to find a way to get your name out there. Even if you go to the local, uh, the local, you know, stop and shop, the local uh, Acme shopping supermarket, or everything, hang flyers, hand out cards, pin up cards, anything like that. And one of the biggest things you can get is word of mouth. So even if that's um, just for example, uh, I shot some of my cousins, uh, you know, kids photos and they told their friends and, you know, friends like that. And all of a sudden it got around to be like, oh, hey, Eric can shoot, you know, let's call him. That's what you have to do. It's all about word of mouth because that one friend told another friend then I shot their, uh, their quinceanero, then a wedding. It really all links together with that. So really start to think about yourself more in terms of advertising marketing. It's not, it's, it's difficult, but it's not impossible. Just do it. You've got to learn how to talk on the phone. You have to have, you know, phone skills. If I'm just sitting here like, yep, 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 to a client, they're gonna be bored as hell. They're not gonna to wanna to hire you. You have to learn how to be yourself, but over the phone, be confident. Always be smiling when you're talking because, you know, I feel it's true. If someone's hearing you and you're, you're actually smiling on the other side of the line and you're talking, it actually comes through to them. So just start to develop, once again, it really ties in with the people skills that I said, it's essential that you learn how to talk over the phone, how to be professional. Don't say yo, yo, your, or anything like that. Be very professional, be very precise, enunciate. And you know, even though you have to kind of fake it a little bit, you gotta do it, be professional. The last and final tip is the timeliness of yourself and your product. What do I mean? Basically, how quick are you gonna get the, uh, the product to the client? Are you gonna do it within the two weeks you told them, the three weeks, you know, the three days, or how are you gonna deliver it to them? Their CD, uh, you know, USB, online sites, you know, somewhere where you can do that. And yourself, you have to know, well, where you're gonna be, be there on time, and if you really falter and, you know, and go against what you're gonna say, if you're an hour late, that looks horrible and they probably won't want to work with you and won't spread your name uh, later on. So you really have to, to become successful, just be very aware of timelinesses with your product and yourself. Once again, you're trying to develop a reputation. It can be hindered very quickly if you mess up once. That is success ways 
say it's right, yeah, say sways of uh, trying to become more successful that you can apply right now. Just go all out, put your hard work in it. That's all I got. Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye, give this a quick thumbs up. If you think these, uh, these tips are really good, you know what? They should really help you become successful, even if it's just starting out or if it's something minimal right now. That's all I got. If you guys have any more tips, add them below. That's all I got. Become successful. I know you can do it.